latte macchiato, venti and one latte, please. Hi guys! Hello! We are currently in Antalya, Turkey. It's the middle of March and as you can see the weather is just amazing. I mean it's like 16 degrees out, still chilly though, but the water is much warmer. It's like 18 now. Today we want to show you quite a bit of Antalya. Take a walk from the western side to the eastern side. Just a regular Antalyan slide. Yeah, alright guys. We're gonna just show what's going on, what's around. See you in a bit. When you hear people talking about Liman and Konya Alte, they mean the western part of Antalya. This is probably the most quiet and relaxed area. It also works great for families with kids. Next to the beachfront there is a park with green lawns, sports grounds, volleyball, basketball and tennis courts, playgrounds for children, bicycle lanes, and there are even a couple of dog parks. The whole beach park territory is stretching all along the sea for about 7 kilometers. Multiple cafes, restaurants and coffee shops fit in pretty nicely here. Beaches in Antalya are naturally pebble. The sea has its beautiful turquoise clear waters, it's nice, warm and pleasant. For those who are worried about sharks, well, there are sharks in the Mediterranean Sea in general, but they prefer fish and deep waters and live really far from the shore. So no worries, it's really safe to swim here. Just 15 minutes away from the beach park, uh, you can find a shopping mall and behind the shopping mall, uh, just across the road, there is a theme park with the tallest ferry wheel in Antalya. Well, this is the only one ferry wheel in Antalya, to be honest. Just over there, there is Antalya Aquarium. They say that it's the world's largest tunnel aquarium. And there, uh, there is a regular park where you can go for a walk, go lay on the grass, just chill and hang out. Here at the park, there are those silk floss trees. Look at them. As far as I know, they are originally from South America and I'm not sure how <laughs> they were brought here. But still here in Turkey, they feel quite well. And as you can see, they are covered with spikes just all over the tree. Look guys, I found a panda in his natural habitat. Is it good? It's fresh. There are so many viewpoints around Antalya with the perfect view to the Mediterranean. And look, there is still snow and mountain caps. And there is a view to the marina. Believe it or not, guys, but there is a casino for people who work for the government. Like sort of a special separate place for them to go hang out, gamble. We are currently in the city center of Antalya. It's called Kalechi. And this is the Republican Square. And here there is an interesting thing. Behind me there is an elevator that goes down to the marina and uh, it's actually free. Everywhere around the city, if you see the Antalya Büyükşehir Belediyesi signs, it means that it's a municipal property and it's usually free or has like affordable prices. Behind my back there is a restaurant that is also municipal, the one with the red roof. It has reasonable price is really affordable and generally good food so now we'll go there and try it we're at this municipal restaurant here's our table and check out the view
All right, I'm, I'm trying out first my casserole omelette. All right, well, let's see what's inside. I'm kind of curious. Let's see. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, that's good. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. First impressions. Um, it's like a regular omelet uh, with salty Turkish cheese. Uh, if it's uh, like a restaurant food, I would give it like six out of ten. Because um, it's more like uh, food I would eat home, right? It's like if I would cook at home, it would be perfect. It would be ten out of ten. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna try is uh, kasherli goz gozleme. Kasherli, it's basically like uh, cheese anything here in Turkey. Uh, uh, so basically, it's like cheese and bread. Looks like like this. Um, it, pork or just eat it like a regular bread? I'm, I'm uh, it's not like it's g very greasy, so like yeah, I don't know if you're comfortable with eating with hands, it's fine. Uh, but you know, your hands are gonna get dirty real quick. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of same kind of thing. Very salty, uh, like bread with cheese inside. Yeah, but look, it would taste with something else. Uh, very good, like um, any kind of soup. And this dish would go very well with it. So I got my tavuk doner, which is uh, basically chicken, a lot of bread, uh, fries, and just some veggies so let's let's try let's try chicken first salty right <laughs> yeah but not so salty i think yeah they, they definitely like salty things but to be honest it tastes like just normal dinner in basically any Turkish street restaurant. Is it hot? It's, it's not hot, but it, it's like it's spicy definitely, but it's not spicy hot, like no no pepper, no 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 chili. No, it's it's good for me. Yeah. And what about those fries? Is it uh, uh, like? Let's try. Mm. What I mean by that, like they usually don't cook it in a vegetable oil, they use maybe like animal fat to, to cook. No, I think I think it's vegetable oil, like sunflower oil or something. It's it's a bit oily, but it's it's pretty good. It's like not don't, not like fries you have in McDonald's, for example. They are dry and really like doesn't taste like anything. This the, this uh, tastes like potatoes, like fried potatoes. So I, 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 I'd give it like maybe 7 out of 10, like in general. Not bad. Not yeah. <laughs> okay, it's my turn to try to work the other and yeah, I just try to do something this. Because normally if you have uh, tavuk doner, chicken can be really dry this one is not it's, it's yeah like, yeah it's, it's good yeah 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 that, that's what i like about this one because it's not dry it's not by any means it just yeah you know, it's like it's not melting in your mouth though yeah. but yeah, it's like uh, very well cooked chicken uh, there's a lot of seasoning in it but it's not dry, you know. It's one of those things I hate about chicken, it's always dry. This one is not, and I like about it. Mm. It's 
it's like home fried potatoes, I'd say. They definitely add something to it. It's not like, well, you know, regular fries taste. It's more like uh, maybe they different use, they use different kind of salt. Yeah, at least it's not animal fat. Yeah. That's one I like because like here in Turkey they love to, to cook their potatoes in animal fat. This one appears to be more like uh, touristy oriented. Hadrian's Gate was built in the name of the Roman Emperor Hadrian, who visited the city in the year 130. It is the only remaining entrance gate in the walls that surround the city and harbor. Formerly, the city walls enclosed the outside of the gate and it wasn't used for many years. This may be the reason why it has not been harmed and it was only revealed when the walls collapsed in the 1950s. The gate was restored a few years later, in 1959. When the gate was uncovered and restored, a dozen of bronze letters were found at the foot of the gate. These letters were a part of an inscription honoring Hadrian. But later, the letters were split between different museums and private collections around the world. We are currently at one of the busiest streets in the city. It's the city center and in summer when the tourist season is in its highest. This city is literally crowded with people. You just have a flow and you have to go in the flow. And in March you can see it's quite bearable. to the eastern part of Antalya and as you can see here they have enormous barbecue zone where people come usually with families and just chill during weekends so right now it's empty because it's Friday and like it's pretty early <laughs> probably in the evening there will be more people and uh, we are walking to the beach here, by the way, this is the only part of Antalya, I think, where they uh, ma made Sandy Beach. Mm. 
this place will be super busy and crowded in summer there will be a lot more people here and as you can see there are planes flying over and what I mean is it's right now it's spring and planes land and take off literally every 10 to 15 minutes can you imagine what's going on here during high season when the number of flights significantly increases I would seriously think of not spending <laughs> vacation here somewhere in a nearby hotel next to the airport as you can see guys from this side of the city the beach is sandy than it was last week. Here in Laru, there is a park stretching along the sea cliff. It's not like in Konyalti, where it stands right next to the beach, but still is a really nice pleasant place to hang out, taking a walk, cycling or jogging. Mostly it has green lawns, but uh, there are a few cafes, a sports ground and a playground for kids. Also famous student waterfalls are located here. To be more precise, these are called lower student waterfalls and there are also upper falls, which are easily accessible by public transportation. So there is a river and the flow goes from this side to this side over there. Yeah, the viewpoint is there. Here you can see a street full of typical smaller hotels, apart hotels and just not those fancy all-inclusive ones. And one last thing, in this part of Antalya there is a shopping mall called Terra City. It became the most attracting life center with its 180 stores and restaurants. And it also gets Traveler's Choice Award every year. That concludes this episode about Antalya. I hope you guys like it. Uh, we tried our best to be put together all our footage we occasionally filmed here, but there will be some more episodes about our life and about general things in Antalya. So, hope you liked it. Please subscribe, give your thumbs up, and uh, see you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Cheers. Ha, ha, ha.